Hello everyone, my name is Armin, welcome to my gaming channel. I'm gonna continue my Let's Play series of Endless Space 2. So we are slowly colonizing the these systems here that belonged previously to the Unfallen, so in some time they will turn into colonies and they will also be counted towards our victory condition. We already have 27 planets out of 40 required here to, to achieve victory, so we still need something about hmm, 10 systems. Because if I'm not mistaken, systems where we have outposts don't count toward the victory condition. So we are also at war with the United Empire and the Vodiani. So we have a chance to grab a, some more systems here, which I intend to do. It'll take a while, but once we are done with this, we're gonna get a lot more systems here. In the meantime, let's send this fleet that's stationed at Polaris to Kalem. These are my support fleets here. We can also upgrade them because in the previous episode we have quite heavily modified our ship designs. So now they will be a lot faster and also a lot more powerful. Also, I sent this fleet to Gikra. I'm gonna start to destroy the Lodestone world slowly. And once I'm done with this one, I'm gonna go to Regulus and Setus and probably to Kuyos. And it looks like we have a arc here. In blockading our system. Hmm, let's see. How much chance do we have to get rid of it? Hmm, looks like we are a lot more powerful, so we can send simply this ship here and try to get rid of it. Could potentially get rid of the ship here at mile. Or rather the ships. So let's do that as well. Let's see. The Vultures ask us to assault and Andromeda. Hmm. Might do that, but hmm, I wonder. Okay. I'm gonna send this fleet up to Quarius. Gonna start sucking that manpower out of, out of that system. Let's send the uh, ballistas right after them. And these guys will stay and on guard here. Okay. So let's see. Two hacks are running, so we can end our turn. Okay, Academy power has increased. Hostile trace detected. Hmm, I wonder. Will we manage to break through them or not? Start installing piggybacks here and there. Now I need to wait at least one turn. Closing to a to see that we are not the only sentience in the galaxy. Hmm. Okay. Let's see here. Andrew Camille Z at the fifth radiant shoal. This was supposed to fleet absorption. Second elegant shoal. I think we still got two command upgrades, so let's pick those. Iron Discipline and Ruthian it's Shaddai ok 
got one with upgrade somewhere, but I don't see where. Also a couple of labor upgrades, which are probably the, this conscription genius. So let's start with this. Now Farella. Let's grab crowd controller. And Cross has an empty construction queue, so let's start building something new. Super Biofuel Factory will take a while still. Should prepare a new specialization here. Let's grab the Geo Industrial Plants. And after that, let's prepare some of these approval upgrades. Because we need them. And after that, I suppose the Skyward Dwellings and the Cosmetic Genetics. And I suppose that's enough for now. Let's move the fleets. Okay. Civilian transport fleet destroyed. Let's start blockading the system. Hmm, there is a curiosity here. Ground battle, battle remains. Oh. Okay, let's pick those up. See what we find there. No changes there. Okay, now we need to destroy that fleet because we won't be able to advance here with, with that ship around. Okay. Now let's start removing these ships. There's one Ark and one Leecher. The Ark is medium range and it doesn't work too good at long ranges, so I'm gonna go with power to shields probably. Let's see how this ends. Okay, decisive victory. Fleet failed to retreat and was destroyed. There is another arc coming this way, so I'm gonna wait. Let's put, let's stay on guard and let's end turn again. Okay, Yersh has been colonized, so we can start upgrading here. Okay, drone networks, cerebral reality. After that, Xeno, Xeno industrial infrastructure, interplanetary transport network. And we can buy out these two first upgrades, and after this, let's pick the infinite supermarkets. Level 2 modernization as well. We can actually start with that. And let's wait a while. I need to be careful because the approval is quite low. Heavily due to the fact that we are over colonizing. Okay. Now let's see. Shaddai is done with that old stone link, so. Hmm. Okay, nothing here. Okay, we've got one Calgaro somewhere where it should not be. Okay. Okay. Let's move the fleets. And let's end the turn.
uh, anomaly framer that is done, so now we can build a few of these upgrades. They are not cheap, but they can provide us with quite a nice amount of science pot and potentially dust if we have. Hmm. Okay, we are back to Cold War with the Sulfons. And we are close to achieving an economy victory. And our hack has been traced. Okay. Or rather, both of the, those hacks. Okay. Hacking through Kalem won't work. So we need to reorganize this. I believe we can remove the hacking programs at Polaris now and put a encryption on Kalem. Now let's start hacking from Polaris this time. It'll take quite a lot longer. I believe that probably it won't even managed to reach there before I conquered that system, but... Okay, let's disband this ship. An asteroid field discovered there. pick some more research so let's see could go for the power of the endless I need two more techs in the uh, what is it called the uh, Empire Development Quadrant so let's see what do we have here for Halo Shipyards Chaotic Meteorology. Let's pick this. And I suppose nano aquaculture. After that, I'm gonna go with the power of the endless. Okay. So we've got a couple of anomalies here, reduced ones. So we would get. Plus 10 dust, hmm, if I'm not mistaken, no, plus 5, because it's plus 5 per population on plants with reduced anomaly and we only have reduced ones, so that would be 35. Okay, so dust bonanza won't cut it. School of Geniuses. Well, it's also not too useful, I suppose. At least here. Okay, let's put these ballistas to sleep for now. Well, here. Moving towards should die, so let's go after them. Okay. Let's disband this revealer as well. We won't need them too much now. Okay, let's end one hacking operation left. Let's start another hack from Polaris towards Battle. And now let's end the turn. Okay, our population boots for the Vodiani has ended. Let's continue that. As well as the eight years, because I want those. We hope that the cold dark of space is made warmer by our proposal. Okay. Let's accept that science proposal again. How's it going? Good to see you making something of yourselves. Okay. 
you have hurt our enemies. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Varela at Ita. Now we have only two wit upgrades and this is the transformation leadership, so let's pick those since we don't have anything better to pick already. Cohab. Hmm. Let's take a look at that system. I can't remember what we've got there. Hmm. Looks like nothing at all. Although there is a lot of these anomalies. We got three systems which reduce anomalies, so we can use those upgrades here. Okay, let's also grab the autonomous administration. Autonomous administration, cosmetic genetics, and. Hmm. That bonanza here will work nicely, and same goes for the School of Geniuses. Okay, let's grab these science upgrades. It'll take six turns to finish those. However, this will the speed will get reduced for a few turns because. When we build the cosmetic genetics, we'll get some extra slots here on these planets, and thus the food will go back from the convention, will be removed for a while. Okay, seven turns. Mm. Lodestone Link. National Museum as well. Okay, I suppose that's enough for now. Now, Solario Domus, Blue Sky Speculator. Hmm. The Marian Monopoly. Personal Networking. You've got one empty construction queue at Scythe. Hmm. Let's build the autonomous administration here as well. We need those quite desperately. And next, cosmetic genetics. We need to terraform this steep planet into a fertile one, so let's start terraforming. Also, we need some more or Halkix, so let's grab the mines upgrades. Okay, as I suppose is enough for now. Okay, where's that ship? Heading down this way, huh? Okay, this arc is faster than our ship, so it's a little bit difficult to catch up on it. Okay. Okay, this revealer. Let's move it towards Nerod. And let's end the turn. Varela, another transformation leadership upgrade, and looks like Sofia has accepted the truth, so... Oh, that's too bad. Hmm. It's a bit of a bummer, actually. Actually, I get a feeling that we might even be faster with hmm, the wonder victory or your alliance controls four out of the six acquired major factions home systems in the galaxy huh? ok 
Okay, we could capture two more systems then. We could go for a supremacy victory. But I'm more keen on grabbing the conquest victory, so I'm gonna have to wait a bit. This path crosses closed borders. So what, I cannot move there at all. Oh boy. So let's pull out of there, if that's the case. Okay, no changes here. Okay, the Empire approval is slowly rising. Thanks to those upgrades. Okay, next turn. Okay, chaotic metro meteorology is done. Graceful Shoal has detected an enemy is ready for action. The thing is, we cannot attack them, so and then retreat this fleet back towards Kalem. Not gonna keep them there. Okay, one thing, then I'm gonna start building a next wonder. Simply because I don't have anything better to do. Let's look here. We got one planet with 11 population. So we could get. 55 out of this one. It's not worth going for a dust bonanza. Go for a school of geniuses, but I also don't think that that's worthwhile. What is worthwhile is the Cultivation Institute, that's for sure. I'm gonna get some extra industry from that conversion here. This will boost our obelisk construction as well. Okay. So if we are having a truce, then I'm gonna use this opportunity and go after the lodestone systems with our other hero. Okay, so let's end turn again. Okay, we've got a, another election, so let's see what happens. Okay, looks like the militarists have some heavy presence in our empire. No new loss, so... Okay, Sirma has been colonized, and Imnas as well. And Kohab has been compromised. Okay, not sure how or where, from where, but... Looks like... Kalem is being hacked. Hmm. And an encryption going here. Could interrogate. Okay, Andrew Camille. On Kohab. You don't have any resources there. I, I remember it this time. So let's grab the Fecund Gardens. And Eli Leandra. Go for Mechanical Genius or Efficiency and Aficionado. Mm, Indusa. 
It's one of these. There's three planets here. The one is hot and sterile. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna get 20 from this, from this 30. So let's go with, with it this way. Okay, forest now. Okay, we've got two planets with reduced anomalies. One has nine population and the other one six, so we got fifteen population units here. So we can go for the Das Bonanza as well as the School of Geniuses, it makes sense. So we have the Functuated Evolution Foundation as well. I'm gonna leave the Cultivation Institute out for now. Let's see where I, where I can start another level 4 modernization. Hmm. Okay, that might be worthwhile. So let's do it here. Okay. Level 4. Let's also pick some additional upgrades here. Got one gas giant here. Can go for the deep atmosphere habitats, but first we need to do something about about our production as well as our food. Let's grab the organic purity after these. Could also send some extra ratio units there. So let's start sending them from Eta towards Kalem. Okay. Five ratio units. Move the fleets. Okay, and we have these two new systems that require attention, so let's start the basics. Here. We have two gas giants here. We need to start colonizing them as well. We can build the skyward dwellings as well. These gas giants will provide us with a nice amount of industry. So that will be nice. Besides that, are these large or...? Hmm, these are huge gas giants. However, they only have enough space for a one population unit, so... That's a bit of a bummer, but... Still. Okay, let's end turn. Okay, you get 10 Adir population units, that's fine. I need to send a few over to, to these systems so that we can get some more population units going. Question is now where do I where do I have them? Okay. Let's see. Not here. Neither here, 
not here. Here as well. Okay, Kuma. Well, we don't have any of those here. Go have no scythe. Here we've got the Deviants. Could send those out as well. Or wait a second, do we have them or not? I don't remember again. Okay, no, we do have them, so. Don't need to displace the Deviants anymore. Got some some of those on cross. So let's send these out. Some of these systems. gonna send them Gena, at least not yet. Let's send them to Yersh first. Okay, now here. Ultra House Sprout. Let's go for this one. Let's grab the Lumetrian Monopoly. Okay, Kalem. I also have something to do on Placidus. Could send some meteor populations from here as well. So let's send them to Serma. Also, gonna start modernizing this system. And we're gonna build a administration here sooner or later. In the meantime, let's see. Cross could use a modernization as well. So let's go for it. Okay, the ballistas are here. Can start upgrading them. As well as this fleet. Man, this will eat up our um, anti matter quite heavily, but. We also need to upgrade the hero ship. We've been neglecting this one for quite a while now. Let's grab a turret inter interference missile here. And let's grab the Maggie laser. Okay, in terms of armor, the bulwark will go, as well as the transformative shielding. Here we are all set already, so let's apply this design and let's move out. Go for Regulus or set this. Let's go for Regulus first. It'll take six turns to get over there. Okay. Now let's let's send this carrier back to Shaddai. It's not gonna be any use there. And let's disband these ballistas, I don't want them around here in the open while I'm not fighting. Okay, so we are already over the 30 minute time mark, so I'm gonna end this episode right now. Thank you everyone for watching, I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe and comment my videos, let me know how you feel about them and I hope I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you around!